last integration piece, which is uh, actually using some runtime code to hook up uh, state machines and animations to scrolling behavior, which I don't know if we've ever actually shown this off before. So it was really exciting to try and build something like this. Um, so we built a plant blog. If you haven't seen the links below, uh, you can play around with it at the, the Vercel app. Um, we built this Next.js application um, that, uh, let me just try and find it, um, that has some scrolling behavior that hooks up into Rive and uses our, in this case, React runtime, but you could use it with a web runtime too, with a small bit of code. And we'll go over that in a bit. Um, but just to show off this for a second, you can see this plant vine thing growing on the side, which is really neat. And it kind of scrolls um, through the end of the page. And we've got some other really cool interactions that we'll go over in a bit. But it also, this vine is also retracting itself as you scroll back up. Um, and yeah, uh, before I kind of go into the technical details of kind of how we made this happen on our blog, I'm going to hand it over to Laura to talk a bit about uh, the, the Rive that she built um, that you see here on the side. All right. Let me see if I can share my screen again. OK. Can you see it? Yep. OK. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did this uh, plant growing uh, using um, blend state. Um, so this is a state machine, and this is the plant growing. So you just see it. So I'm going to show you, for starters, how did I do the central branch. So I'm gonna um, stop this, and I'm gonna hide all these layers just to show you how I build the central branch, which is this um, this stroke. It's just a, a green stroke, and for this to, in order to make it work, I added. Um, a trim path. Um, one animation with a trim path at 100%, and another animation with the trim path at 0%. So if I now go to the, to the state machine, um, I have to, I'm going to show you how, how did I hook up this. Um, I'm going to throw in here one animation. The start of the end is, is the same. And here on the, on the, on the right um, bottom of the screen, I have the states animation, single animation, blend 1D, and blend additive. We're going to choose blend 1D. And we're going to make sure that I have my input already created. It's a number input, which you create from here. And you're going to make sure that you have that uh, selected. And then I'm going to add one animation here. And you're going to see this drop down. I have all this animation. And I'm going to choose the start. And I'm going to add another one. And I'm going to choose the end. The start, I will leave it at 0. And I'm going to type at the end 100. So now. If I go to the state machine, they're supposed to be um, blending together from 0 to 100 and from 100 to 0. So now this is working. And now I'm going to show you how I added the flowers. They, are, they all have the, their own layers. And I did basically the same for all of them, so I'm going to show you one of them. Now, when you go, you see this flower going out, going in, and then going out. Um, so what I did for this was I made an animation of the flower going in and another animation for the flower going out and another one um, in idle, which is just 
the animation is at 0% of opacity. So when the, the state machine starts, you don't see the flower yet till it reaches the, the number we want. So now I'm going to show you the um, transition that I need in order to make this work. Um, okay, so I have the flower idle, which is um, this, this, this state. And I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna work, hook up this all together. Um, I have the flower in, the idle, and the flower out. Okay. First, I want the idle to go. I won't put any, tra any tra transition on it, any condition. And then I'm gonna, I want the flower to go in. Um, so for that, I will add uh, the input, scroll input. And I want for this to happen at probably 11 um, or 10. I'm going to choose 11. So here, I'm going to say that I want this to happen when um, the number is higher or the same as 11. So when I go, now it's happening. Um, now I want the animation to go out when I go uh, down. So for that, I'm going to say to the condition that I want this to happen when the number is uh, lower or equal to um, 11. So now it's not going back because uh, it's staying here in the out animation. So I'm going to add the animation back and I'm going to tell the same as the beginning. When it's higher or equal to 11, this animation will reproduce. So now it's working. So what I did with the other flowers is basically the same. The only thing that it will change is the number um, input here. Uh, as higher the plant grows, the higher is the number that they are growing or going out. I hope this was um, somewhat useful. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Um, I love like using all these like 1D blend state uh, kind of examples to show how you can like use number inputs in like so many different ways. I think we've shown it with like um, like actual number inputs in, in, in like UI or, or like loaders, but um, this is a really cool way to show off, you know, something growing and in, in the context of, of course, like a plant blog. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Thanks, Laura. Uh, Michael, do you want to show off what you made in a similar fashion to, to that? Yeah, so when we were talking about and kind of planning this project, we were bouncing around some ideas and we had the plant blog and we wanted to show a, you know, a plant or something growing. And we also talked about doing like, uh, like a recipe or something building as you're scrolling. So um, we ended up working on like, how would you make a glass of lemonade? So I'll go through... Um, the process or kind of how this is set up. First, let's take a look at the animation here. Um, and so the cool thing about this is, so our state machine is the same and our input is the same. So we've got scrolling behavior as a state machine and the scroll percentage from zero to 100, like that was all we needed um, in order to be able to swap these out um, on the blog, uh, the blog mockup. So let's go ahead and play this. Um, so as you scroll through here, I'll kind of slow this down, but so you have a cup that comes in, water, little lemon juice, there's a little sugar on there on the spoon, mixes up, and then a straw to enjoy. Um, so that's done, I mean, essentially it's the same thing as Laura's, right? It's It's got 
state machine and then that scroll percentage. Um, the way that it's uh, put together is fairly similar um, using a lot of these blend states. So like for the on, um, so for, we have the cup, this is like the cup off, this is the cup on. Um, we've got uh, a little animation that's triggered at a certain point. So the cup rocking, um, I can show you um, where that happens. So I've got it set up in a very similar way um, where when that scroll percentage um, is greater than or equal to nine, it'll play that little animation. Um, there's a few other things that happen in a similar, similar way where little events are triggered based on that scroll percentage. Um, the water is uh, using a blend state as well. I can show you, let's see water default and water finish. So you can see this, this path here. Um, it's got a stroke on it. Uh, let's... So it's just a trim path and it's animating down. Um, if I go back to the, the actual animation here, you can kind of see, see where this blend is happening. So it's just, transitioning between two you know key keys essentially that are in separate animations the fit water filling is the same thing it's just a, a clipping mask that's moving up um keyed you know at the empty state and then at the full state um and then you can see the little splash is another example of just an animation that's triggered at a certain point um so yeah that's really really all there is to it it's just a bunch of little triggered animations that are kind of uh, going off at the right time based on where the scroll percentage is. So yeah, that's, that's it. Um, there's a, an interesting thing here with the spoon mixing. I, I can kind of talk about that really quick. It's a little bit more of a complex blend state, as you can see, but basically it's, there's, a few different positions. Uh, let's see if I can find where the spoon is. So the spoon starts off and then it moves to the, oops, moves kind of to the middle and then inside the cup. And then there's the spoon mix forward, which is just the spoon moving over and rotating a bit. And so for the mixing, it's just bouncing between these two um, in that blend. So, we go back to that and we scroll through here. Oops, I get, probably need to play it, huh? Um, I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see which which animation is, is playing. Um, that little fill, it's kind of hard to see, I'm sure, um, but it's there. So you can kind of see it uh, when I start going through the spoon end which is when the spoon enters the cup and then it goes to the mix to the left, and then it goes back to the end and back to the left. And so I thought that was kind of a neat way to show like with, with just a couple animations to have that kind of stirring effect there. So yeah, that's, that's how it's constructed. Um, this is up on the community. So if you wanted to take a look at, take a look at how it's set up, um, you can do that, but yeah, that's a, uh, that's how to make lemonade. That's a lot.